hello and welcome to lovely English stories. This relaxing story is written to an advanced English level. Ready? Let's get started. C1 English Story The Meadow The beautiful flowers of the wild meadow swayed slowly in the breeze. There was a myriad of colours, sprinkles of blue, orange, yellow and red as far as the eye could see. The birds sang sweetly from the trees and the bees buzzed around, gathering nectar and pollen, ready to make their honey. Occasionally, a butterfly would flutter by and drift from flower to flower. The beetles and ants scurried along the earth, hunting for food. The mice would pop up from their hidey holes to pinch pieces of bread and leftover picnic food. The leaves on the trees made such a relaxing noise as Flora laid on the grass and looked up to the cloudless sky, she felt like she was in heaven. The meadow was Flora's secret spot. She loved to go there when she needed some peace and quiet away from her busy life. She would pack up a picnic, make a delicious fruit squash, and head to the meadow with her favourite book. At the opening of the meadow was a large old oak tree. Its branches were thick and its leaves were large. They created a beautiful blanket to block out the harsh, hot rays of the sun. Flora would often sit under the tree's protective branches. She would lay down her picnic blanket and nestle herself up against the tree trunk. Often. She would drift off into a dreamless sleep and wake up feeling disorientated. The meadow was Flora's haven. She only ever visited alone. She liked it that way. Next to the meadow was a small lake filled with fish and frogs. Flora loved to listen to the frog's ribbit and jump in and out of the water. Sometimes she would bring dried bread so she could feed the ducks and occasionally some swans would come and say hello. On especially hot days, Flora would sit at the side of the lake and dip her toes in the water. Sometimes she had the company of local fishermen and women who came to cast their fishing rods in the lake. But most of the time, she was alone. In the summer, she would pick fresh flowers and take them back to her home 
she loved to smell their scent, and by merely closing her eyes, she would be transported back to the meadow. At the end of the summer, it was berry picking season, and she would collect the blackberries and make her speciality of blackberry and apple pie. Flora's favourite season at the meadow was spring, because all the flowers started to come to life. She also enjoyed autumn and watching the change of colours from greens to reds, oranges and browns. She still frequented the meadow in the winter, but it was often too cold to sit, so she would walk around and leave bread and nuts for the animals. Sometimes, when the air was still and no one was around, she would see deer in the meadow. She had to stand incredibly still so she didn't startle them. She loved to watch them roaming around. They were so majestic and beautiful. Once, on one peaceful summer day, Flora saw an owl flying across the meadow. On another, she saw the most beautiful hare running across the open meadow looking for food. Aside from relaxing and reading at the meadow, Flora also took her sketchbook, pencils and watercolours. She loved to capture the scents of the meadow on paper. She would draw impressions of the meadow from different angles across the year to assess how it had changed. She enjoyed looking back and seeing how the shrubs, trees and flowers had grown. After a storm one autumn, she visited the meadow and was devastated to see some of the trees had many broken branches. She had to remember that these things happen and it was out of her control. The breaking of the branches could be a good thing. They could create new homes for insects and other creatures on the ground of the meadow. It always amazed Flora how the meadow pretty much took care of itself. It didn't need anything except the seasons, the insects and the animals. It had been there for many years and would continue to prosper. It gave Flora comfort to know that long before she was born and long after she will live, the meadow will still be there. It will continue to blossom, bloom and survive for generations. To come. Do you have a secret place out in nature where you go to relax? Perhaps you prefer the woods or the beach or the mountains? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this relaxing, lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe 
and share.